afternoon. This is Jamie coming to you from Stellmeyer Games um, with Biddy here in the background temporarily. We'll see how long he stays today. Oh, there he goes. Um, today we are playing with Arc Nova, Between Two Cities, and Euphoria. Those are the three realms. I feel like I haven't played Arc Nova, even though it's one of the newer realms, or the, probably the newest. I haven't played it in a few weeks. I'm looking forward to getting back to that. If you don't have Arc Nova, you could substitute another, another realm that you do have. Or you can get a copy of Arc Nova from the Stonemaier Games web, web store. So let's jump in and get started. And I'll talk through Arc Nova a little bit more since you probably haven't seen me play it very often. So I have a five and a three. It's not a pair, so I'm going to ignore Euphoria for now and hope that I roll pairs later. A five and a three. Chad's joining in. Yeah, if you're watching live, feel free to pop in and say hi and let me know if you're playing along in the comments or if you're just kind of watching along. I think Chad is probably working right now, but uh, Chad, I appreciate you tuning in to say hi. Five and a three. So in Arc Nova, so in Arc Nova, we're going to use a number to gain its benefit equal to the number of outlined circles, then cross off those circles. However, Arc Nova gets more powerful when you don't use it. This mimics the action selection process in the game Arc Nova, where if you haven't used an action in a while, that means you've been taking other actions, and that action that you haven't been using is getting more and more powerful. Um, so what we're going to do in... So at the end of every turn, circle uh, outline one circle under one rolled die that you didn't use in this realm. And so actually with Arc Nova right now, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to use these dice because I want to circle in a five here. So I don't want to do anything in Arc Nova. I'd rather use a three in Euphoria so I at least get a coin out of it. And in between two cities, let's put that five right in the middle. So I've used the five and the three. However, I did not use, I didn't use any rolled numbers in Arc Nova. I guess I could have used a, um, I could have put the three in Arc Nova and still the five is a number that I didn't use and so I could have gotten that. But either way, I did not use a five and so I will outline a circle under the five. All right, turn number two. Chad says he's still working right now. Five and a one. Five and a one here. So I could com com continue to upgrade that level five for Arc, Arc Nova. I could also use a five. So if you actually use a number in Arc Nova, then you are crossing off all outlined circles available with that number. So right now, if there's a one, I could cross off this one right here. There's only one outlined one, and I would get pumpkins equal to the number of circles that I cross that I cross off. So it would just be one pumpkin. So probably not ideal to do that in Arc Nova right now, but I might still want to do it anyway to get some resources. Resources are helpful. Five, another five. So I can't I can put the five anywhere here in between two cities, but not next to that five. I think I'd still rather use, I'll put, uh, I'll put the one over here in Euphoria. Let's put the one right there. We'll get a coin out of it. And I'll put the five somewhere in a corner maybe for between two cities. I'll put a five right up there so it's not orthogonally adjacent. And then again, I didn't use a five in Arc Nova. Also didn't use a one, but I'm going to choose five. Circle that right there. Turn three. A four and a three. A four and a three. Another interesting engine building decision I could make in Arc Nova. Um, I actually like the three in Euphoria because I know I can't get a, a pair of threes from Euphoria anymore. So I'll cross off that three and get uh, get a star. Awesome. In Euphoria. And then the four. What to do with that four? Hey, Dominic. Thanks for popping in today. The four, I think I don't want to use the four in Arc Nova, but I wouldn't mind using a one somewhere. In fact, I could use I could use both of these these uh, coins could turn into ones pretty easily. So why not? Let's just let's give, give that a try. We'll create two one value dice. I'll put one right here. There's a one, and then I'll use the other one to circle down here. And then at end of turn, I did not use the four in Arc Nova. I also didn't use the three. I could choose one of them. I didn't use the four though, so I'll circle that there. I'm really not building much of an engine in Arc Nova. I'm just get, getting better at scoring stars later, hopefully. Turn four, another five and a one. That's great for Arc Nova, I think. We can use, we can not use that five and mark it off in Arc Nova at end of turn. Um, I kind of like the one there too. I could continue to level up the, the pumpkins if I want. There's Biddy, hey Biddy. What did he just do? He, just, he went to the bathroom behind us. 
Um, I could use that one again in Euphoria. I'm, I'm going to do a couple things here. First, I'm going to put a one here in between two cities, complete that column, give gives me two coins. I'm going to use one of those coins to create a one value die and put it over here in Euphoria, knowing again with Euphoria that a pair of ones no longer helps me. I've already crossed off one of them. And again, I get a star for, from it. I'm hoping to start rolling some pairs here soon and have them not be ones or threes. And let's see, I've done something here. I've done something there. I have not actually used the five yet though. Oh, that's a little tricky because that means I would have to use the five in Arc Nova, and I don't really want to. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't use that one in Euphoria. Yeah, let's not use that one in Euphoria. So I haven't gotten this. I will use the five here instead. So that's a nine. That is still a star. I haven't used, and I'll use this, this one value coin will become the one over here in Arc Nova. Okay, turn five, a three and a one. Oh, and I didn't use the five in Arc Nova, so I get to circle. That's what I was aiming for. I guess I get to do that. Here's a three and a one. Okay, now I could use that one over here in Euphoria if I wanted. I probably do want to do that. So here's the one. Um, there's the star. The three works well in between two cities right here. Yeah, I don't see a need to use the three in Arc Nova right now. We'll use them between two cities. There's a three. Here's a pumpkin and a coin. And I might, should I continue to load up on pumpkins in Arc Nova? I don't really see a big downside in doing so. So I'll, I'll keep going with that. I'll, I'll put a one value die right there. And then I did not use a three or a one in Arc Nova. Oh, I've been doing it. I've been doing this wrong. I've been totally playing Arc Nova wrong. I have been using numbers, instead of crossing them off, I've been using numbers to create these circles in Arc Nova, and that isn't how you use Arc Nova at all. I should have been crossing them off. So I'm gonna negate a lot of this because that isn't making sense. I should essentially just have, I think I should have, we'll call it two pumpkins. I am so sorry. I, I That is a little confusing aspect of Arc Nova and I have completely misplayed it for you right there. Um, so we'll just, say that's, that we're even on Arc Nova right now. I think I probably wasted some resources there. That's okay. I did not use a three in Arc Nova, and so I will circle this number. I'll try to, I'll do an example turn on my next turn. Uh, Chad says we've all been there. Um, there we go. Here's a six and a three. I'll, I'll use one of these in Arc Nova to show how it works. And six is great. Six can be used as anything. Um, so... Uh, for sake of example, I will use the three in Arc Nova. When you use a number in Arc Nova, you cross off all circles that were outlined for that number. So I've crossed off all threes. That means I gain two. I have two outlined threes. I gain two coins. That is how I use a number. At end of turn, I have not used the six. That's when I will circle a number in Arc Nova. Um, what else do I want to do? Let's see. Euphoria is kind of just plodding along. Let's create a one value die in between two cities and put it right here. And we'll create a two. Why not? Create a two for Euphoria and put it right here to gain another star. End of turn, six. Six can become anything in Arc Nova. I will let that six become a four. Okay. Here's a six and a five. This is a good opportunity here, I think. Six and a five, we're on turn seven right now. This is an opportunity for me to use the five in Arc Nova to cross off those circles and get the three stars. Um, I, I don't see a big downside in doing that. So I will go ahead and cross off, or if I'll just fill them in and get three stars for Arc Nova. The six, what do I do with the six now? The six. And the six will be great at end of turn because I can use it as a wild in Arc Nova and finish off the last number in the in the four over here. The six is okay in Euphoria. I think it might actually be... So in Euphoria, might, do I have hope for any other numbers? Yeah. Uh, this four. This four could be another star. At most, I can get five stars from Euphoria at this point. So I think I might hold out for a four over here. We'll put the six in between two cities. Um, let's put it right here. And get... 
a uh, not a pumpkin. I don't know why I want to circle a pumpkin. I get a heart and a coin. All right, turn eight. Almost there at the end. Let's see how we do. A five. Oh, and at end of turn, I should I use that six to do that. End of turn. Oh, so we have a uh, two and a five. Two and a five. I could use the two in Arc Nova. I don't really see a point in doing that at this point, so I won't do that. I would love more pumpkins though, because I might need some numer numerical um, uh, manipulation here. So I'll put a two right here in between two cities and gain two pumpkins. And let's say I wanted that four, so I'll turn this five into a four with two pumpkins, cross that off and get another star from Euphoria. Still have not rolled doubles. Let's see if we can pull it off. A double six would be great for Euphoria for the final turn. End of turn, what, don't forget this again. End of turn, I need to use, I need to uh, circle one of these numbers that I haven't used. I'll circle the two right there. Okay, final turn of the game. Here is a three and a two. That three is close enough to make it work for the four in Arc Nova. And I'll do some other things. Yeah, I'll probably put the two right there between two cities. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let's put the two right there. Gives me three hearts <clears throat> and one pumpkin. Biddy is just having fun over there in the litter box right off screen. You can't quite see him. You'll see him pop up in a second. Hey, bud. <laughs> what are you trying about? You never know when he uh, so he picks something with him out of her litter box. Um, the three. I will turn that three into a four. And that way I can gain the other three stars from Arc Nova. <clears throat> there we go. And so I'm getting five stars from between two cities. I think that's the best I can do. So that is, what, what do we have? 16.7. <clears throat> Not too bad. 16.7. Yeah. Let me know what you scored in the comments below. I'm going to go get a good cough. I think all this litter is coughing up into my lungs. So I need to cough it out. But. Thanks for playing along. Thanks for following. Dominic, Chad, thanks for being here. And uh, anyone who plays along in the future, let me know what you score in the comments below. I'll be back tomorrow for another round of Rolling Realms. Game three. I'll see you then. Bye.